if you struggle with poor body image or lack of body confidence, this video is for you. Today I'm sharing how to apply Ho'oponopono, the ancient Hawaiian healing practice to heal your relationship with your body, improve your body confidence, and heal your body image. Hi, I'm Maria Lapuma, and I help women stop emotional eating and addictive food cravings and learn to love their body. And Ho'oponopono is one of the practices that has helped me to heal my relationship with my body, and I teach it to many of my clients and students. If you're new to Ho'oponopono, there'll be a link below where you can learn more about it. But for today's purposes, I'm going to share with you the four statements, the magic mantra that helps to clear and heal the memories that are coming up that keep you from aligning with your highest good, that keep you from aligning with the divinity within you. You are not your body. Your body is an aspect of you. And I like to liken the body to the animal part of us. It's almost like the horse. Our spirit rides the horse. And so many times in our life, we're taught to try to control the horse, beat up the horse. We have often developed a negative relationship with the horse. We try to beat the horse up or beat it into submission. Maybe we learned somewhere that in order to do the things that we want to do, we have to control our body. A lot of times if we've been on diets, it's a way of controlling the body. Or maybe you're blaming your body for not looking good enough, not fitting in, not feeling good. Whatever it is that comes up for you in relationship to the body, this is what can be healed, transmuted, and transformed. Because Ho'oponopono is a practice of healing all of the problems and negative emotions and memories that are in the way of you feeling inner peace and ultimately in alignment and outer healing with your highest good. I had terrible body image. As a child, I was very overweight and I blamed myself and my body for all of the negativity I experienced. I was made fun of and that made me feel even worse about my body. I blamed my body for being overweight. I felt like my body had abandoned me. I went on many restrictive diets trying to conform my body into an image that I thought would make me feel good about myself and feel happy with myself. Ultimately, the healing included me feeling good about myself, learning to love and embrace myself. And as I did that, then my body started to release the excess weight. So it's an inside out approach. And that's exactly what Ho'oponopono is, an inside out approach. When we heal our inner self, we are in alignment with our highest self, with our healthiest self. The practice begins with accepting where you're at and accepting the thoughts and feelings and emotions that you have about your body. That's what you want to erase. So you don't want to stuff down or pretend that you feel good about your body. You want to allow all of that to come through you because ultimately Ho'oponopono is a mindful practice an awareness of the negative emotions, the negative thoughts, the negative feelings that are coming up for you. And that's what you want to clean on. So take a moment right now and think about how you feel about your body. Maybe when you look in the mirror, your eyes focus on what you don't like about your body. These are the thoughts, feelings, emotions, and memories that you want to clean. So we start with identifying how we're feeling. Get honest with yourself, okay? Maybe you feel like you want to reject your body. Maybe you feel hate with, towards your body. Maybe you feel ashamed of your body. That's what gets cleaned. So tune into all of the feelings you have about your body. You can bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in and let it go. 
And then we start with the mantra. The mantra is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever's in me that created these negative feelings that I have about my body. Please forgive me and forgive anyone else that contributed to these negative feelings that I have about my body. Thank you for the opportunity to heal this. And I love you. And you continue with, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. I'm sorry for all the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that are creating a problem in how I feel about my body. Please forgive me and anyone else that contributed to this negative feeling I have about my body. Thank you for the opportunity to cleanse, heal, and purify. And I love you. And you're saying thank you, and I love you to your higher self, to the divinity within you, to the divinity without. So it's here for you to cleanse. The reason it's coming up now is because it wants to be healed, it wants to be released. And so Ho'oponopono, this amazing tool of transmutation, is what will do it. You want to clean on the negative, the problematic thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So once again, tuning into how you feel about your body. Maybe you feel disgust. Maybe you feel frustrated. Maybe you feel angry. Those are all of the feelings and emotions that you want to clean, you want to release. So again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of the negative feelings I have towards my body. Please forgive me. Please forgive me and anyone else that contributed to the negative feelings that I have about my body. Thank you. Thank you, divinity, for giving me the opportunity to heal this, to cleanse this, to release this. I love you. And continue with that four-part mantra. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And you may be having to do this on and on consistently for some time because maybe you're preoccupied with feeling negative about your body. So as you cleanse, the objective is to come to a place of peace. You want to have peace with your body. You want to feel at peace with your body. So I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. When we say I'm sorry, we're taking responsibility for the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that are coming up for us when we think about our body. Please forgive me, forgive anyone else. Maybe these are patterns and thoughts that you cultivated in your formative years. Maybe things were said to you and you developed self-hate or negative feelings about your body. This is all part of the cleaning and the cleansing. Ultimately, you want to come to peace. Another way of applying this, which has been very effective for me, is actually making amends to my body. Because for many years, I abused my body. I abandoned my body. I abused my body by going on crazy diets or over-exercising or talking badly to my body, beating it up, not really taking good care of it. So I started to apply Ho'oponopono in this way. I started to talk to my body. And after I showered or bathed in the morning, I would rub my skin with cream and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, and I love you. Thank you, dear body, for showing up for me, even though I've abused you all these years. I do love you. I'd like to cultivate more love for you. I'm sorry for all the negative things that I've said to you over the years. Please forgive me. Thank you for the opportunity to cleanse and heal this. 
I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the abuse that I've done to you over these years. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And you can continue saying thank you and I love you as you're putting cream on your body, as you're thinking about your body, looking in the mirror. Thank you and I love you for just taking care of me, for always showing up for me, for doing things that I'm not even conscious of, like breathing and digesting and giving me energy, allowing me to move through this life. I'm sorry for all the abuse. I'm sorry for all the negativity. I'm sorry for abandoning you. Please forgive me. And as you continue that practice of making amends with your body, asking your body for forgiveness, and your body will forgive you. The animal part of us, if you think about animals, you think about pets, they're so forgiving. So the body will absolutely forgive you. Asking for forgiveness, appreciating, acknowledging, thanking, and loving. Love is the healing medicine. Love is the elixir. So as you can heal all the negativity that stands in the way of you loving yourself and your body, you will start to feel a better body image. You will start to activate more body confidence. So this is a practice, a daily practice. Anytime any negative thoughts or feelings come up around yourself, around your body, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to let this go. I'm sorry for whatever's in me that created these negative feelings and thoughts. Please forgive me and I love you. And you can just do that four part mantra on and on and on especially if you're bombarded with negative feelings about your body. The more you do this, the more you will start to feel an inner freedom, an inner peace with yourself. And as you feel an inner peace with yourself and more love for yourself, you will organically start to treat yourself with more respect. Because when you love and respect and value something, you will treat it with love and respect and value. So it's an inside out approach to healing the emotional body, the thoughts, the feelings, and the emotions that you have about yourself. Taking responsibility for all of that and then asking the divinity within you and the divinity without you to cleanse it and to purify it. Bringing your hands to your heart once again. Taking a deep breath in and letting it go. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. The key with Ho'oponopono is to be consistent. Release any expectations. You want to have inner peace. That's the goal. As you have inner peace, you start to come from inspiration. And inspiration is always coming from love. And as you love yourself, as you love your body, you will start to, as I said before, treat yourself with more respect. And as you treat yourself with more respect, then you will be treated with more respect. It's an inside job. So there you have it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I would love to hear how this has been effective for you. Give it some time. Be patient with yourself. Once you work on this and you release these memories, it's sustainable. It's gone. You will absolutely cultivate a healthier relationship with yourself and your body. Let me know in the thread below your thoughts on this what came up for you, and how Ho'oponopono is effective in healing your relationship with your body. And until next time, keep on taking good care of yourself. Bye now.